Hey girly pops, welcome back. I don't know if this is too loud or too soft. I don't know where to put this. I'm just gonna put this right here. But then it looks like my... Don't worry, it's root beer and I'm addicted to it. It's freaking delicious, dude. <laughs> now that Ryan is here and I can borrow his microphone, my burps will sound even louder. I don't know where to put the microphone. What if it's not good? I have been wanting to do another $100 challenge on my channel for a while because I... <sighs> I'm kind of a beauty and fashion YouTuber again. That's how I started and I'm really just coming back to my roots, guys. It feels so good. So I freaking love fashion and I did the $100 challenge where I compared Urban Outfitters versus Walmart, which the whole point of the challenge is that I spend $100 at two very different but similar stores. With Urban Outfitters and Walmart, it was like they had similar things at just very different price points. This one is gonna be slightly different because I did Brandy Melville versus Thrifted, and the reason I'm doing these two is because number one, I saw boop, this girl do it, and I loved her video, so go check that one out. Are my eyes this blurry or am I not in focus? No, I'm in focus. Okay, I am i can't tell. Speaking of fashion, my merch is in the description box. So Brandy Melville, if you've ever shopped there, most places it's just online because they don't have many actual stores, but a lot of their aesthetic just looks like thrifted clothing, which can make some people mad because it's like, why would I buy stuff from there when it looks thrifted if I could just go get it from an actual thrift store for like $4? So that is precisely the point of this $100 challenge. I spent $100 at Brandy Melville and $100 at the thrift store. And if you want to see everything else that I bought from these places outside of this challenge, you can go to my vlog channel because I'm gonna be doing a haul on that side and I also do so much makeup videos on there but anyway I tried to pick out two very similar outfits from both places and let me just give you a haul from each side and then we're gonna try them on and directly compare I can't wait so let's start with of course Brandy Melville here she is the beautiful Brandy I got a very basic looking Brandy outfit and I also specifically tried choosing things that looked like I could find them from the thrift store because this experiment would not work if I just found like a completely different outfit so this is what I got from Brandy Melville for exactly $103. The typical mom jeans that every quirky teen you know wears. These were $38 and this is a size small. I think this is one of the very few items that Brandy actually makes in sizes because if they made jeans in one size fits all, people would be more mad than they already even are at them. At least they have sizes for that. Also, I didn't even try on these jeans so I hope they fit, who knows. I'm not supposed to give my opinion yet but I really like this shirt. This looks so thrifted. If I told you I got this from the thrift store, you would probably believe me. It just looks like one of those dad shirts and it's striped but the fit of it is so perfect. It's got a wide bottom, really nice long loose sleeves, and it's really, really, really soft. It's got the collar, it's got the button down. What even brand is this? This is the brand Knightsbridge. Sometimes Brandy Melville has like their Brandy Melville clothes. Sometimes they're selling John Galt, and sometimes it's just random things like this. I don't really get it, but oh, this says John Galt. I think John Galt literally just goes to thrift stores and then puts it on their website. I don't really know. This was $30, and it is a one size fits all, which everyone loves a one size fits all, right? Because it's such a true statement. And then just to reach my $100 limit, I got a fanny pack from them. This just looks like the Brandy Melville Instagram, so I thought I would try to be trendy and wear it. This was $20, not too bad. And I love a good fanny pack, very functional. This one's pretty small. I could probably fit like my phone, a G7X and some chapsticks in here, which is pretty good. Oh, one more thing. I still had enough money to buy an accessory. So I got these silver cross earrings and these were $8. <laughs> A little bonus about Brandy is that you get this little pack of pictures that you can hang up in your room when you order, and you can also get free stickers if you go to a store, so this is a bonus. That is what I got from Brandy Melville. Well, I actually got like four other things, but that will be on my vlog channel. Now, from the thrift store. Now, please don't kill me, but I cheated a little bit because I didn't go to like a Goodwill or Salvation Army or like a real genuine thrift store. I went to a more vintage store, but don't kill me because their prices are still relatively cheap. Plus, it's kind of an experiment directly towards Brandy Melville because instead of going to Brandy Melville where everyone looks really basic because they all have it, you could go to a vintage store where everything is basically one of a kind. So it's still part of the experiment. Also, if I went to an actual thrift store, there's no way I could find enough things to spend $100 on because going to the thrift store takes so much time. But anyways, enough said, just a little disclaimer. Oh, it's just almost opened and spilled everywhere. Main root is literally so good. It's like an actual sugar soda, not chemically sh soda. It's so good. I tried to resemble the Brandy Melville outfit as close as I could. 
Oh my gosh. My beautiful little microphone fell and unplugged itself, which I was not aware of. So then it switches to my camera microphone, but in the end, it will be back to the good microphone. Don't worry. From the thrift store, I tried to get a similar of a outfit to the Brandy Melville one. I got a pair of real Levi mom jeans, but these ones are dark wash and they're pretty big for me, so I'm gonna have to belt it and I might have to cut off the bottoms and kind of DIY it, which is something that you kind of have to do a lot when you are buying from a thrift store. But for real Levi's, these were only $25, which is pretty good and cheaper than Brandy Melville so far, so not so bad. Plus a real Levi's, so. I got the most amazing polo crew neck type thing. The fit of this is just so amazing. Like it's perfectly baggy while also being the right length for my tiny little torso and look how baggy the sleeves are Just everything about this is amazing and perfect And I guess it kind of resembled the dad type style that the Brandy Melville shirt had and since it's a thrift store, I got to buy one more item before I hit my $100 limit. I got a real Looney Tunes shirt. There is just something about these shirts that when they've been washed a million times, just makes it absolutely more superior than a brand new shirt straight from the factory. I love the color. I love how oversized it is. This was only $10. It's got a real Looney Tunes tag, which is so cute. And I picture wearing this as a dress with like some silver necklaces, maybe some edgy little boots, try to be a little bit grunge, if you know what I mean. That's what I pictured with this. So it is time for the direct head-to-head -head competition. I'm gonna go put on my Brandy Melville outfit and we will see how we like it. So I guess that's the point of mom jeans, but I'm gonna roll these up. They're still freaking huge. Are you kidding? This is really a small. For how small they make their waist, this is really long. I don't know, girl. This is a bit more cute. I would probably need a belt, which was not in my $100 budget. Should have bought a belt instead of a freaking fanny pack, but. Also, this thing is really oversized, which I wasn't expecting. Maybe I should tuck it in all the way and see. Okay, so once you roll up the pants and you tuck in your shirt, this is actually a really cute outfit. Let me add the fanny pack. Okay, this is a really inconvenient, it's like a belt. I guess this could be my belt. Whoa, can you put this like in the straps of your jeans? That's kind of cool. Whoa, you can. Okay, props for that. This is actually cool. It's like a real belt. Wow. Oh wait, just kidding, because then this happens. Okay, I'm just stupid. Never mind. thought I was being innovative. Innovative? Innovative? Okay. This is actually such a cute outfit. You will be seeing it on my Instagram soon. This is my $100 outfit. It looks completely thrifted, but that is Brandy Mel for you. Um, I kind of just had to DIY the back of this because it wasn't tight enough. The jeans, a little long, but overall, I like this outfit. This is a great touch. This is probably my favorite thing ever. It is so oversized, but really soft at the same time. I could honestly wear this as a dress as well. And overall, I'm just really digging this fit. That's me trying to be a fashion YouTuber, how was it? Okay, I'm gonna go try on my thrifted outfit now and we'll see how it compares. Okay, this is my thrifted outfit. Still need to cut the bottoms off these jeans because they are so, so long. I love the shirt, it was $10. This is something you could buy from Brandy for like $30. Um, my butt definitely looks a lot better than it did in the Brandy Melville ones. It does kind of give me a little, you know, a little tight in the front here, but I did need a belt. This was not my budget, but I just, it was a necessity. Let's put on this polo to top it off. Okay, this with the jeans is not, not a look at all. Definitely gonna have to cut the bottoms off these jeans. The crew neck with something else would be very, 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 very cute. With this outfit, not so much, but okay. Let's just pretend that we're wearing it with the shirt because my bad for putting together a terrible outfit. This I feel like, I actually kind of like the jeans better because it makes my butt look literally 20 times better than the Brandy Melville ones did. I love this shirt. It's pretty similar style to the one we've got at Brandy, but for a third of the price. And it looks like the same aesthetic, the same style, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that's my freaking review. All right, so I have tried on the two outfits. Also, by the way, I did end up cutting the jeans. It looks much, much, much better. The camera almost just fell and I almost just freaked out. Okay. <laughs> 
awesome. So my final consensus is that number one, Brandy Melvo gets a few points down because they're one size fits all, which we know is incorrect. So right off the bat, so many people can't shop there because it just doesn't fit them. As well as myself, I couldn't get the right jean size. A lot of the times their shirts and their waistlines are way too small. And those plaid pants that they sell used to fit me and now they just do not. So that is a huge, uh, just thumbs down for Brandy Melville. Another thing is they don't have many stores. So if you wanna go somewhere to try on these one size fits clothes, you're not gonna have many options because I think they're in like California and a few other states. So you have to pay for shipping online. Oh, I forgot to wear the earrings that I bought. So that is another point down for them. Another thing about Brandy Melville is it's kind of known as this really basic thing by this point. So if you wear a shirt, they only have so few designs. So people are gonna know if you're wearing Brandy Melville, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I know some schools where girls specifically don't wear Brandy Melville because they're like, I know five other people are gonna be wearing what I'm wearing to school if I wear that today. Something that I love about vintage stores or thrift stores is number one, it's better for the environment because someone else has already worn it. I meant it's better for the environment because it's a recycled piece of clothing, not because someone else has already just worn it. Also, is it kind of funny that I'm just like using my microphone right here? Whatever, I don't really care. Number two, everything you get is pretty much one of a kind. And number three, vintage stores, yes, more expensive, but way more convenient than actual thrift stores. That is something I will give Brandy Melville a point for because since you know everything there is basically cute, it's gonna be really easy for you to shop. Every time I walk into a Brandy Melville store, I walk away finding something that I like because everything there is just pretty basic and simple and you don't have to do much digging because everything looks the same, same style, looks vintage, looks thrifted, and you like it and you buy it. With thrift stores, you actually have to do digging, you have to drive to multiple locations, you have to just like spend a whole day thrifting, and a lot of people are too lazy to do that, including myself. So I tend to go towards the vintage stores because they have all the coolest stuff all in one place, which is why it makes it more expensive because it's more convenient because they did the digging for you. Oh no, my llama has been down this whole time. <sighs> so this challenge all really comes up to what your preference is. If you hate shopping online and there's no Brandy Melville stores near you, there you go, thrift store wins. If you hate thrifting and you just wanna go into a store and know what you're getting, there you go, Brandy Melville wins. So let me know down in the comments which outfit you guys liked better and if you prefer thrift stores or Brandy Melville or if you've ever even gotten something from Brandy Melville. A lot of people haven't because it is online. And let me know where I should do the $100 challenge next because I love doing these fashion videos and I'm trying to brainstorm some other fashion videos that I could do because I freaking love experiment type videos. Make sure to head on over to my vlog channel because I post so freaking much on there recently and I've been testing out a lot of beauty products on there and I'll do my little Brandy Melville and thrifted haul on there as well. If you're not subscribed here yet, make sure to do that to join the family. I said earlier I was wearing my family hoodie, which is the softest, best hoodie I think I've ever owned and you can buy it with the link in the description. It is my merch if you want to support me, if you want to wear it. I also have a bunch of other designs on there. I post here every fam Friday, but if you have not been able to tell, I've been posting way more. So turn on your post notifications if you want to know when I post because just being subscribed, YouTube doesn't really favor my channel much, so you probably won't even know if I upload, which is awesome. You can also follow me on Instagram because I try to be a vintage little Pinterest little hoe, so that's fun. And I also have a Twitter if you wanna, I don't know, I'm learning Twitter. I feel like I'm getting good at it. If you wanna go judge that, you can. That is it for today's video. I feel like a game show host or something, but I'm gonna see you somewhere else on the internet and I love you guys so very much. Bye.